Hey guys, this is Salman and welcome back to your channel Mac Time. As you can see today, I'm gonna start with the module second chapter third that is belts, wire, ropes and chain drives. This comes in the second module third chapter. So uh, in the last videos, I have completed the first module first chapter and I have also solved different types of problems in it. So please go in my channel and check the problem and please follow the procedures. Now today we are going to see the theory questions which comes in the chapter 3rd. So today I am going to solve the first question. This is a derivation that is length of open belt. So uh, we also all of, we know that open belt is used to uh, transfer the same motion. Okay, so To transfer the same motion a open belt is used. So for different different motion a different belt is used we also know that so consider the open belt drive as shown in figure as you can see I have drawn the open belt or oh, this is an open belt or the, uh, the which are having a pulley and belt uh, connection over here where uh, I need to find the length of open belt so this is the belt so I need to find the length of open belt so if I'll draw make a half section of it if I do the half of it I can get a symmetry if I cut into a half of it from here you can see if I cut into a half I'll get a symmetry of this okay now you why I'm getting this because I need to find the length of all the points the points a b c d e and f okay so I'll tell you how I have taken this angles I'll tell you uh, then if I uh, I'll take the contact angle if I take the contact angle the same will symmetry over this side also okay if I take a contact contact angle on this side the same will symmetry on the this side okay then I'll give the points name that is a b c d e and f this line is a capital R what is the capital R capital R is nothing but the radius of a larger pulley as you can see this is a hole this hole is the capital R and this is the smaller R smaller r is, r is nothing but radius of a smaller pulley okay now we'll see for, uh, we need to find the length of open belt why i'm not so uh, i have to multiply the sensed by two like to get the value of every points the points a b c d e f so if i uh, multiply by two i need not need to take the value of d e f only a b c d is enough for me because uh, the if I cut in as I told if I cut into a half it will be symmetry on the both side okay now uh, L is equals to 2 arc AB you can see arc over here so 2 arc AB 2 into arc AB plus BC there is no arc in between so I have taken BC plus arc CD so plus arc CD now this this is our uh, the term of length okay now we are gonna find the length so before finding the length we need to know what are the arc okay arc is nothing but radius into angle what is radius into angle we'll see okay as you can see for arc ab arc ab is a 90 degree this is 90 degree okay angle 90 degree so this is nothing but 90 plus alpha this is the plus alpha okay so 90 plus alpha that is 90 we can write in term or term as pi by 2 so 2 into pi by 2 plus alpha into r capital r okay plus bc we don't know the value of bc so we'll just keep as it is bc plus pi by 2 minus alpha this will be a pi minus uh, pi by 2 minus alpha into small r okay so this is our equation done now we don't know the value of bc and alpha so we'll first go with to finding the bc bc how you you will find out bc will find out by pythagoras theorem we know that bc is equal to from this figure bc is nothing but square root of l square minus r minus uh, capital r minus small r whole square how i have taken i'll tell you you just need to do you uh, you have to take a line okay at some point you have to take a line so this is your line okay i need to find the value of b and c so the if you take at some distance this point will intersect with the center of the driven gear so this is a driven gear it will be intersect to the center of the driven gear and at some position it will be here okay it will be here intersect at some position now i'll uh, draw that figure like this okay 
so this is by the center point of the driver gear of the larger pulley and this is the center of the driven gear of the driven pulley okay so this is my big okay a uh, big pulley and this is the smaller pulley as you can see you will get the this triangular shape okay now to find the pythagoras theorem we need to draw this only so this position this angle will be our alpha this will be our 90 degree and this will be our capital r minus small r and the uh, from here to this point will be our small l that is length so to find the uh, pi uh, bc through pythagoras theorem that bc is equal to square root of l square minus in bracket capital r minus r whole square through this term okay now again how you can write this so you can write it as uh, l we are i am taking here l outside so square root of 1 minus r minus r divided by l square whole square okay again i can write Uh, this term as it uh, like this so l 1 minus r minus r whole square by l square so raised to 1 by 2 so now using binomial distribution binomial distribution is nothing but you know you need to take this term here downside okay so bc is equal to same only the you have taken this term downside now we need to find the alpha so sin alpha if you take sin alpha is nothing but r minus r by l so sin alpha is nothing but r minus r by l okay so we know that sin alpha is uh, 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 will get a very less value so i am taking ins instead of sin alpha i'll take alpha is equals to capital r minus r small r divided by l now put the value of alpha in the equation this okay so i'll name it as equation number 1 okay so if you put and this will be my 2 if you put the value of alpha in this okay you'll get this term so uh, we are not uh, we are huh, we have to put the value of this so from the uh, so from so from the second equation if you multiply by 2 you will get this term pi plus 2 alpha into capital r plus 2 l minus capital r minus small r whole square plus pi minus 2 alpha into small r okay uh, now we need to take that is pi common so if i take pi term common so the value will be like this pi r plus small r plus 2 l capital r minus small r minus r minus small r capital r minus small r divided by l whole square okay now put the value of alpha so wherever uh, we need to put the value of alpha now if you put the value of alpha you will get this term that is pi capital r plus small r plus 2 into capital r minus small r into capital r minus small r divided by l Minus capital R minus small R whole square by L plus two L. Okay. Now, if this term and this term, if uh, in this two term one, uh, if I uh, one term will get cancelled, so L is equals to because of plus and minus. So L is equals to pi R plus R plus R minus small R whole square by uh, this is small L. Okay, small L plus two into L. so this term is called as length of this equation is called as length of belt so it is very easy uh, i am not explaining much because there is some uh, nothing in it we need to just find the bc value that's it if you find the bc then you need to go with the alpha value and you have to just substitute it at last you need to find the length of a belt and uh, there is no much difficult in this okay so guys this was about the first uh, theory question that is the, the length of open belt this is a derivation important derivation they might uh, they may ask you for this derivation for 6 or 8 marks so please be prepared with it with this derivation tomorrow we gonna see with the other derivation so thank you for watching please share this with video with your friend and help them to get a good mass thank you for watching have a good day so guys we have completed with the first question of module second chapter third this is very important derivation please 
we prepare with this and please share this video with your friends and help them to get uh, clarify their doubts and if you have any doubts please drop your comment in the comment section and please if you have any suggestions to uh, make the videos in the on other topic also please tell me that also and thank you for watching have a good day